Hello, welcome to Mysteries of Athos, uh, session 21, I think, actually. Uh, this is a, a Dark Sun Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2nd Edition live stream, and uh, we are uh, mid adventure with our heroes currently uh, in some, one set of caves. There have been another set of caves underneath the city of Barlock, and that was full of uh, giant ants trying to kill them, and this is a set of caves full of smugglers trying to kill them, and skeletons they're kind of friendly with. Uh, so yeah, does someone want to sum up what happened last time, couple, like three weeks ago or something for us? Yeah, so uh, we, Tom? and I will, uh, by illustration of this here map, because uh, I'm controlling it. So we came along this passage and ended up in this room. And as you can see, there were a lot of skeletons there. They came out of the water as we came across. We thought we were bone, but luckily we have a not exactly evil, but not exactly good cleric um, in Quintas. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and he managed to turn yeah. these skeletons. We hoped they would join us, but uh, they just lost interest in us, basically, and sort of stood there uh, immobile. So, flush with success, we carried on south through this passage. We're sort of feeling our way along. It's very dark. And then, we fa there was like a hole or something in this chamber um, that mm. we decided that it sounded like there was yeah. water there. We didn't want to go, like, essentially <laughs> trap ourselves in an underground river at this juncture. So, we came further down, found a little <laughs> hidey hole in here, where there are, as you can see, yet more skeletons, who, again, we turned but did not ally. Yeah. Uh, and so we carried on down this passage, had a fight with a couple of the guards, then we retreated up here in the hopes that the sound would lure these skeletons out to attack them. It did not, so instead we just sort of held further up and fought them for a bit. Did pretty well, but then we came back down and there's more guards and now a wizard, and I think we're probably boned, is the summary. Uh, but... I think the plan is we are going to retreat even further into this room with the water because then they can't help but go through where the skeletons are. And I might like see if I can chuck something down this passage as I go to see if I can catch the skeleton's attention. I don't know if that's a thing we can do, but yeah, we're hoping our skeleton bros might save us. Yep. Yep. Uh, great. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah, we have uh, Simon playing Gola the Thry Queen will be uh, joining us soon. And we have um, Kent the Dwarf Gladiator, played by uh, Tom. Asher the Half Elf uh, Preserver Bard, played by Andrew. And Quintus the Human Templar, who's a kind of a cleric given power by a Sorcerer King, who is played by Beach. Um, and uh, we're missing Jay and Alex tonight um, because uh, Jay is sunning himself in, in France. And, uh, yeah, Alex is playing Pathfinder, which is arguably more despicable. Uh, yeah, so, uh, am I taking the action declaration being full retreat? Like, as in, move as much as um, you can? Yes. Or what? Um, full, I think, yes, full retreat. Um, Kent might, might actually do a normal retreat first, because we've seen the guy mm. charge his spell... And so I think either I'm mm -hmm. going to be able to get out of line of sight of him. Like, either we'll move first and I'll get out mm -hmm. of line of sight and I'll have a little bit longer, or I won't and I'm dead. Um, so I would like to move at a slightly slow rate so that I can just throw something into that corridor where the mm -hmm. skeletons are. See, like yeah, you're going to do a normal You'll do a normal move. You'll do a normal yeah. move. Normal move, throw something, basically. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. on the next round, assuming I make it that um, far, then I'll full re retreat back. To the oh, yeah. Round. Is Quintus on one hit point? Is Quintus on I, one I hit point? I believe he is on one hit point. I yeah. I assume Quintus is... Is he healing himself, Beach, or um, are you just full retreating? Uh, What's the plan? Great question. I will... In yeah, character, I, Quintus is just screaming. <laughs> yeah. I will... Yeah, I have one... I have one cure, like, ones left, so... 
This seems I might, like well use it <laughs> might as well use it on myself. I um I am important. Yep. Um. <laughs> How many does Kent have left? He said he said humbly, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many hit points does Kent have left? Uh, eleven. I'm uh, not doing too. Okay, bad. he's okay. And Gola again. Uh, Simon will be able to tell us. Gola is not right in the line of fire, but Gola is your other fighter here, along with Kent and kind of Quintus as the second ranker. So, Gola, knowing his hit points, will be helpful. Yeah, your sh your shield bearer, who's accompanied you on one adventure already and survived, uh, has fallen, hasn't he? He has. Poor old shield bearer. Wait, wait, wait. Are we? Um, are, are you not allowed to... I can't remember. Can you not move when you cast a spell? You can You can move and cast a spell. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll move back with everybody else. There's some we'll debate about this, but yeah. So yeah, you'll you're do a one standard move and cast. Kent will do a standard move and cause some ruckus. What, what race away. are you, Quintus? And I... I'm all human, baby. Okay, so you'll be able to move further than me anyway. I was going to say that um, Kent will stay between you and the... Yeah. Uh, Gola, Gola will half move behind Kent, preparing to throw a Chachka if there's a target. I think that's... Um, as in, I don't think Gola will just... Like, get, probably all the squid... Like, Adriad and Nasir will just run. Yeah. I don't know if Asher also intends yeah. to just run. I might okay. be crazy... And oh, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah I yes. might be crazy and try and actually throw a knife and run with good old Type C poison. So if, so if if a target presents itself because you don't have anyone in your line of sight, you will throw a knife. Is your plan? Um, if the wizard presents itself, yes. Okay. Yeah. But if, if the wizard retreat, presents then. himself, yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Asher does not rate the uh, the smugglers uh, worth the effort. Um, that's fair. <laughs> they're probably, you know, they're comparatively not worth the effort. We can okay. kind of take them. I really want to save uh, fire Beige. for the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Beach beat my five. Very, very middling on my part. A bang average, in fact. Bang. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oof. Oof. Okay. So, uh, what will happen uh you've got cover against the smugglers the smugglers will not fire before you can move though uh the wizard will the defiler um who will i think uh you see as he as he comes into the you know the light of both their barricade and i think you do have a torch up though possibly adriad has it um he uh steps forward slightly uh kind of keeping some some cover from one file of your guys, but not from the other. But you can see that over his robes there is a, a sort of glimmer of something on his robes, kind of rippling. And then he will... I'm going to actually have to uh, check the radius of his defi defilement. Uh, because, uh, yeah, you see Lichin begin to shrivel around him, basically, <laughs> as he uh, prepares to cast a spell. I would have said Lichin are already maximally shriveled, personally, but... I would have said like You're quick. Kent, Kent is surprised. <laughs> Kent is surprised. Um, so, yeah, destroys plant life only. Um, which uh, uh, it's going to be like. It's going to be like 10 feet or something. Uh, yards, sorry. Yeah, radius in yards. Like, by that, the entire room, every bit of literature in the room just disappears. And everyone within within that range feels intense pain, but is not. Uh, it doesn't count, count for spell interruption or anything like that. Um, did find, did you find money on spell? Okay. Uh, so yeah, you. Um, yeah, and then he will fire. Uh, he pick, draws a dart from his um, uh, kind of his his bindle or his pouch or whatever, like a, uh, a so a very short javelin. Um, and uh, grabs something from component pouch and kind of just smashes the two together and it uh, turns green and launches itself towards Kent. Uh, could you... Um, what's the... Uh, what's the save? They do get a save, I think. Um, oh, it's... Uh, yeah, I fire, I fire it. No, there's not a save. I fire it. 
Uh, so he counts as a third level fighter for this. That's going to hit Kent because that's going to be um, Thacker at AC minus one or AC a AC eighteen, uh, AC zero, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, do you have any particularly uh, exposed objects as acid splashes across your body? Would Kent have anything that was exposed on his object. body that was? Uh... Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing I'm wearing studded leather armor. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to need to take an item saving throw for that, okay. um, which is D20. I really need to. I, th I feel like I do have this bookmarked, but I constantly am searching for this. Say, so, a d a d twenty uh, saving throw for your studded leather armor, please. Seventeen. Um. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, assuming there's nothing else super exposed, I'm happy to be generous about that. But um, uh, I guess I'm like you I'm holding. You need a ten or more. I'll be holding my bow at the moment, so I don't know if that would count. Um, it, I guess it'd be out from your body, so maybe not. Yeah. Um, maybe the quiver. Leather, leather versus acid needs a, a ten plus. Uh, yeah, possibly the quiver then, which is also going to be leather. I guess it's going to be like some kind of, you know. Whoa, eleven, just. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's right. Uh, great. So yeah, uh, you take four points of acid damage, um, and it continues to sizzle on your skin. Mm. Sizzly, sizzly. <laughs> Good thing we're running towards the water. Okay. Uh, okay, at this point, now, you, you start to move. The other guys are knocking their arrows. I'm possibly not expecting you to just uh, book it. But uh, what what are people's movements, movement rates adjusted for encumbrance? Obviously, it does matter at this point <laughs> what your encumbrance is. Uh, mine is 12. Six, I'm not encumbered. 12, not encumbered. Oh, so Asher... Ash can literally move 12 squares. Yeah, if you want to move 12 squares, then Ash, can I my dagger first? Masil will do the same. So, um, Oh, yeah, you have a target, don't you? Yeah. And your speed is 2. So, yeah, uh, he will take an additional plus 1 AC uh, because the angle, like, you know, I was saying he's somewhat kind of keeping the thing between yeah. the, the wall between him and your far. So he'll take very marginal cover, 5%. D20. Ooh, that's probably not great. No. Um, yep. Yeah. That's uh, the type C yeah, nice it's, one. Uh, it... Yeah. Well, good to know. Yeah. Uh, so Ash can back off. That that's fine. Uh, I guess I... Gola a Chachka. I, I, a Chachka is. Um, I mean, that would have been at, at twelve. So that would have been. Yeah. So yeah. Me, uh, I will move Nasir and Adriad. Anyway, they will be moving a long way. Nine, ten, um, they are well. moving beyond Asher. Um, Quintus and Kent, if you want to move yourself back, Kent, uh, you don't need to roll for throwing, like, I don't know, just grabbing a rock and throwing it into the wall yeah. easily. So I, I can so move six, yeah, if I'm going to throw to... something. Yep. Quintus, if yeah. you're moving full, you can obviously move double your movement rate if you're moving full move. I also, I don't know, yeah, Quintus, I guess, uh, I don't know who has the torch is one <clears> thing I'd say. Well, I guess if everyone's moving at the same uh, time, Adriad you know, has the it? torch. Yeah, I was going to say you, you can you can time the movement and hold the movement for ne as necessary. Uh, I mean, you can move you can move your move and then cast the spell. The spell is going to be casting on fifteen, isn't it? Whereas you're moving on ten. So Gola, I guess uh, Gola. Let's say Tachka. Gola is going to be slight, basically they're going to be shut probably um, shots like arrow shots with some cover uh, against. Probably one against uh, Asher and one against Gola because, oh, well, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, Gola will throw his Chachka at the the mage. Uh, he is the third level fighter. That means that is at least AC four, isn't it? Because he's going to have at least Thacko eighteen without looking at his sheet. Uh, so yep, he hits the guy. Uh, what is a Chachka's damage code? Is it D four or is it D six? Might be D6. Uh, I can very quickly look it up, but I don't have it offhand. Yeah, if you could look, look that up. Um, so, yeah, he will hit the, the wizard. You see that this, uh, how much damage it does, it splashes into 
um, a, a, a kind of rippling field over the guy's body. Uh, um, but yeah, I have, them. I'm assuming it's medium, so 1d6 plus 2 for Chatka, it says here. Mm, nasty. And um, adjusted for whatever his stats are. Uh, I, let's assume it's plus two because I don't think he has. Uh, I, I don't think he actually has super high strength. Basically, it might be adjusted by strength because it's a thrown weapon, but yeah. it doesn't matter for now. I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. It matters to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Six damage. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I was going to say very, very respectable damage. So yeah, that badly harms him, and uh, you know he ha technically has movement, but um, he, you know he, you start to see him move backward. He's bleeding. Oh. Uh, I mean, K Kent is not wholly comforted by this <laughs> this news, mm. as he's like sizzling away, sizzly, sizzly. Uh, living uh, beat through question. Living creatures are cause great pain you suffer an immediate initiative modifier uh, equal to the level of the defiler spell cast as e every single person apart from the defiler was in that range apart from the defiler everyone lost two um but it doesn't prevent you uh losing doing your action so uh yeah basically everyone apart from this guy got caused pain including the bandits but it doesn't matter because everyone else is going therefore at the same penalty Okay. Wow. Oh, that max that healing. Um, yeah. So one shot at Gola, um, which will hit on one shot at Kent. Um, oh, I said they will hit. It, AC3, I think, hits Gola. Kent is going to be like AC5. Yeah, that'll hit. AC6. Oh, I'm AC6, so yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll hit either way, yeah. Okay. Okay. Versus Kent, another two damage Kent as you retreat, um, and then versus Gola, four damage. I'm going to assume, basically, you know, we'll assume uh, until Simon corrects us on exact damage that um, Gola is up on about seven hit points or something. If that's that sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Unless some, unless his sheet is open, in which case if someone could check it, you might have some information. I do not. Uh, is it in the in the chat? Let's have a look. Yeah, it'll be under character sheets. Assume okay. Let's file moves back out. And I guess though they won't fire, uh, they don't have a particularly good point. Uh, doesn't look like he's got it here. But... Um Yeah, that's fine. Um okay, so there we go, the bandits all line up there. Um, cool. Um, next round. Uh, yeah, you hear you hear some rustling, Kent. I expect oh, you hear good. some rustling from down the corridor. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, last time you did this, it didn't work. But let's see if it works this time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in either case, I still think we just... I think this round, we full retreat into the cave with the, the many skeletons. Yeah. If few skeletons do not work, we will try many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, declare actions. Uh, flesh armor and retreat. Mm-hmm. Because it's... Sonic power. They was, it, it's, wait. Max speed anyway, so it's fine. Zero initiative, yeah. Uh, Nasir, full retreats, Adrad, full retreats. Quintus? Um, yeah, retreat. Uh, if Jimmy, everyone apart from Asher is full retreating, and Asher is flesh armoring, and one move. 
Yeah. Given how Asher is at the back of the group, that's probably okay. <laughs> uh, as in, he's not the speed. Yeah. I okay. only carry tiny knives and belts. I'm fine. Tom, roll my d10. Uh, roll my d10. Roll a d10. Beat my four. Yep. One second. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll, roll a, a d10. For initiative. Uh. Eight. Okay. You are going to move first. You. Because uh, of... Well, uh, you're, because uh, if, they, if they're planning to fire, that's going to be on a on a seven at least or something, isn't it? So, uh, Asher, make your power check. Uh, I will just move you back into that room. Okay. While you make your power it's, check. Let's see if anything happens. Oh, five. So something happens. Uh, my that's AC is seven. now six temporarily. That's nice. Oh, uh, that's better than... than nine or whatever it was it's nine <laughs> but yeah position yourselves in that room as you want within kind of reason okay and uh i guess gola uh will go at the same speed as you can four but that means you're going s you're, you're going 12 i think gola can go at least 12 so as in that's not gonna be a problem is it s six is to there I'm assuming, I think he 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 is partly encumbered, so yeah, he'll just be next to Kent. He's actually probably slightly behind him, but yeah, or in front of him. Uh, okay, uh, the acid sizzles for two more damage and then dissipates. Kent, Ooh. you that was alive? Lucky. It's getting close, oh, guys. It's getting close. We've got three HP. Forty. I mean, Kent, Kent just so soaked forty-four plus one d six. Yeah. Net eight damage or something, which isn't that bad. Yeah, that is that is very lucky. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> yeah. I think if Ken makes it out of this um, alive, Melf's he's Sarah, I don't think to take a week off. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy thinks he's invented the acid arrow. It's not Melf's acid arrow here. It's Kazar's or whatever's uh, acid arrow. <laughs> he's like, this is great. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. They're going to have to move. Uh, they will have. What rough one basically still um if they can see anyone but i don't think oh they're gonna struggle to see anyone so i guess they go uh that's one two three it's like to there uh and i guess yeah uh, i mean kent has that's kind of useful kent has uh, infra so kent will see um he won't see, he will rather uh, uh, see the reaction to uh, something behind these guys. Yes! They turn around and start swinging, and you, and you hear shouting. Scatterlands! Exactly as planned, skinny midget. It must be, it must be fairly eerie uh, for Ken. I mean, because I guess it, at, at, a moving skeleton would kind of like reflect enough heat or whatever, whatever ambient heat that you might just be able to see them. But obviously, if they're not moving, you can't see them. And if they're behind a bunch of other heat signatures, you can't see them. So Kent can't actually see anything. Yeah, I mean, Kent's that, pretty scary of reacting. Anyway, it's like very... so this is pretty scary. For him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So yeah, um, and I guess that will allow a couple of skellywags to attack. Uh, one of them will hit because the other's going to be AC seven, which I think these guys have. I think these guys have better than better than. Um, let's try that. No, okay. Let's try that. Uh, I mean, there's going to be at least one though. They're just like got clubs or whatever. Okay, let's check which which bandit banditi has been hit. Bandit one has been hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Yep, so that badly wounds one of them. Okay. Um, yeah, new round. Declare actions. I think we just continue full retreating into the other room with more skeletons in it, because now the skeletons are behind them. They've yeah. got nowhere to go. Um, so I think we just let our new friends deal with this. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Ken in particular is not got enough. Kent and well, Quintus have got more health now, but I've got three, so I don't really want to be in the firing line. Mm. Um, yeah, I think your your healing available at this point is one Orizon, possibly. I think because I don't think you've used your Orizon, Quintus. You'll know because it'll be in your sheet, yeah. but from I'm memory. I'm tempted to start moving into Burning Hands Ridge just to. Give them more problems. Yeah. But I don't think I don't know if that's a good idea necessarily. I think eight skeletons is enough problems for them personally. I would keep your burning hands for the wizard. Fair enough. I mean, it, it, it don't don't let me rain on your parade. If you want to burn them while they're being killed by skeletons, don't uh, don't let me stop you. <laughs> I prefer to have other people there with me, so it's fine. But Kent cannot help you here. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's got the like he's got these great uh, sort of nineties acid washed uh, levies, and by that I mean his his studded leather Damn. armor. Uh, <laughs> it's very acid washed at this point. Um, yeah, he made he made his saving throws. Uh, to be fair, like ten plus is at least it's leather. Is when you're like crushing blow versus glass is like nineteen. Mm. So. Look on the bright side. I love oh, yeah, even about the charge. The like, that's got to be you just missed the thing, right? If sorry, if what happens? If if a glass resists a cr crushing blow, mm. you missed glass. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I think my impression was you had like. Yeah, you just left it. Had you had you actually tied them? I think you had like tied them, but you just like left the prisoners behind. Oh yeah. At some point. I'd um, just completely forgotten like, that we yeah. had them. Yeah, they're back in that room. Just Until I just looked over the map. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, I guess we're on initiative. Um, Andrew, I've rolled a three. You roll your D10 initiative. Um, three. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess I'll move Gola. Gola will go with you. Do we have any more healing? We probably don't, do we? And possibly one or is on. Right. I'm sticking right on Quint. I'm I'm on him. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess these guys. Uh, one will light a torch, given they were tracking your light, and they had light behind them, but now they don't. So, and they retreat. The other two will do a fighting retreat and attack skeletons. Um. Probably slightly quicker than the skeletons because the skeletons have clubs, so equivalent clubs. Uh, one may hit a skeleton. I'm fairly sure I think that it hits a skeleton. I feel like I should uh, have that kind of thing memorized. What is a skeleton's AC? I can't believe it's better. Than Basically, this. I, I think it's it. like so. It's like yeah. <laughs> um. Yep, seven. So that's gonna. The 14 will hit it then. In that case, um, that's not going to destroy the skeleton. And the two skeletons at the front will club again on those who are fighting, retreating, and oh, don't you don't yeah they don't hit on their d6s. Let's see if they hit on a d20. That will hit. And 
that will miss. Okay, so one club. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna uh, kill the one that was wounded already. So one of them, one of the uh, bandits, you see as you retreat, uh, kind of disappears. The rest, you, they're now not in your sight, obviously. So, but yeah, you'll you'll have you you'll know up to the end, kind of just about through that turn as you're kind of peeking down the corridor as you run away. You'll have some sense of what's happening. Actually, yeah, Kent might just stay so he can just look down this corridor. Obviously, we haven't got like proper vision. But... Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Next round. Are you just holding put? What's the? Have you got any instructions? Any triggers? I might poke my head round the corner just to see what's happening. To be honest. Maybe half move or something, or just to see what's. Yeah. Kent's going to wait at this end of the tunnel. If they start coming up, he's going to back off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just there to warn people if they do. That's fair. <laughs> uh. I mean, there was a bed at the other side of the river. If Kent wants to go and have a nap. Yeah. Um, could you... Uh, yeah, we'll do it on this turn. Um... Let's, uh, I guess, uh, it doesn't really matter too much, but it matters for the skeletons. Be beach beat my one. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, uh, great. Uh, I guess, beach could you also roll a, an encounter check, d6? Um... Oh, great. Okay, the skeletons just kind of stare at you, half submerged in the water, have, you know, or sunken in the water, having disturbed their rest. But uh, yeah. Um. So let's. Oh, whoops! Um, hit the first. Okay. Uh, oops. I want that. So, Ken, you're keeping half an eye down there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. If they so, start coming up there, I'm gonna. In that case, you'll see some heat signatures while you hear the shouting and sounds of battle <laughs> continuing. Uh, that you'll be able to see a couple of heat signatures just based on the angle. I take it that's a Simon. Yeah, sorry, I'm late. Can just go back? Hello? Yeah, live, we are instituting bans for people who are even a minute late from now on. Okay. Um, I assume that you've all died in my absence, and I'm just here to sort of scavenge all the loot off your corpses. Yeah, go. Yeah, Gola joined the bad guys. Gola is now. <laughs> yeah, we're now playing the bad guys in the game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Gola would definitely um, uh, do such a thing. He'd do that. <laughs> I think yeah, so. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have any morals. Comforting. At least not by uh, human standards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. So the situation is that you retreated. Um, Kent got badly hit by Melf's acid arrow. Not called Melf's <laughs> acid arrow on, on Athos, obviously. Well, not uh, bad, not that you know, badly hit, um, as far as it could have been. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. He soaked. He also soaked. He took an arrow to the knee, but he survived. Um, Gola took four damage. We decided you had more than four health left. Um, that is correct. So it's fine. He's not dead. Good. I think he's. Not, he, I think he take, It's about half health. I have to just take my spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, he's yeah. not dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you will check around. Gola suddenly perks up. I like, um, yeah, rather than having kind of a blank look in his his eyes, like all, most of the people in the world do, he suddenly has <laughs> kind of like light in his eyes. 
And he says, yes, I am alive. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Consciousness is a D&D &D game. <clears throat> he also did hit uh, the enemy defiler for like six hit points or something with a mm. chachka. Yeah, you, you made him back off. That was pretty useful. Mm. So That's good. Good to be oh, used yeah. in my absence. And uh, having disturbed the one of your cadres of halfling skeletons, uh, which... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Quintus is being surprisingly uh, closed mouth about. Um, the uh, yeah, you managed to trap the the smugglers who had run after you, in between you and the bandits, uh, in between you and these skeletons who are marching up the passage. Uh, that was the last you saw of the skeletons. At the moment, you only have direct eyes on uh, here. You have infra down to there. You can't see into the room beyond. Same. Damn. Um, yes. Uh, this I looks surprisingly similar to what I saw last time. Yeah. Uh, the I think the declaration had just been for everyone to wait in that room, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we're, so, we're waiting for the skeletons uh, to do the yeah. job for us, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, it is a new turn, so we're on a new declaration. I, I, you can do the same. That is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, um, doing the same. I don't know, can I make a hear noise check? Detect yeah, noise to as see you just try to pick out pick yeah. out what's happening. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, yeah. That's yeah, reasonable. That um, it's a use of a skill you, you specifically have of being like, yeah. can I hear what is going on better than just listening to the general shouting. Yeah, you can hear shouting and screaming and the crashing of, like, bones and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Simon, roll initiative, d10. Okay. That's a three um, from me. It is a four from me. It's not great, but not terrible. Yeah, this mostly matters for the skeletons, unless they unless they come to you, obviously. But it mostly matters for the skeletons. Um, these guys will continue fighting, retreating, but I guess they will um, get off their attacks first because they actually have initiative bonus. Okay, that is going to be I had two hits. You hear a couple of crashes, and yep. Um, obviously, infra is being disturbed for the skeletons, so you don't know anything about what's happening for the skeletons. So, yeah, one of those heat signatures um, winks out. And, uh... yep, great. Uh, in fact, yeah, one of them winks out. That's right. So, yeah, at this point, uh, they they're much more visible, um, and uh, uh, yeah, um, they sound pretty terrified. Uh, I guess assuming the same thing again. Um, uh, let's. We're on Tom now, actually, Tom. D10, beat my beat my four because we've been on beach before. Simon arrived, so. An eight. Um, in that case, what they will do is uh, they full retreat um, and take op attacks. And they're shouting to you for help. They're shouting that they surrender. They're shouting uh, to us. They, they may be surrender. dead today, however. Oh that. dear. We'll say, come in here. We'll, you can shelter with us. And then I'm going to back off. <laughs> yep, that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. Um, they hand shot an arrow at him. He might have felt more clement. but In here, it's definitely safe. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, move your characters as desired then, as in you have free movement, so. Uh, I mean, oh, Nasir okay. is not literally sitting in the water, that's my fault. Nasir will be oh. hiding over here, away from the skeletons. They run in, probably skeletons, um, and... Oh, uh, yeah, Ashley, you can make a hear noise check if you want, You for last turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, I have 15% okay. chance it was never likely. Okay. Let's see I what I think there's two of them still left. Skeletons do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I also... Uh, the... I, I don't know. Just... Yeah. The... Sorry, I've just been reading a thing about one of my proficiencies. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got this Dirty Tricks proficiency, and man, it's got a very long explanation. Uh, yeah. But... Can I... On the basis that they're terrified and running to ask for help. Can my dirty trick uh, be used to put off their attack by means of like luring them into a false sense of security and getting them attacked by the skeletons? I don't know if that accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, you could try next turn. Yeah. yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, so the skeletons notice them but don't immediately attack, but they are moving towards them. The skele as the skeletons have noticed them, they just uh, like have not reacted rapidly. Okay. Uh, Ash, uh, and, uh, any any other actions other than your dirty trick this round? Uh, Asher, Quintus, Gola, you see them run in, shouting to surrender. The skeletons notice them. You back off. What are you doing now? I just we, we, we accept their surrender. We accept their surrender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gola, what were you saying? I was going to say, we can't accept your surrender. We don't have the facilities. Mm, oh, well. <laughs> Does that satisfy the uh, the Barlick Convention on uh, the rights of prisoners or whatever? <laughs> um, we haven't taken them prisoner yet. They have and Quintus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Quintus. Uh, I will continue. I, I'm not. I'm not going to use any more spells, so I will wait. Yep. Great. Okay. It is uh, um, Andrew again. Okay. Dita, uh, initiative, I think. Oh, six. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I mean, they. Uh, um, they will start heading forward into the room trying to skirt the room away from the skeletons. They're terrified, but they're just, like, looking towards you, uh, looking around desperately for any kind of uh, solution. Um, and uh, I guess... Uh, do you need to roll for your death tricks proficiency, Kent? Yes, I do. One second. Uh, is Wisdom minus two. I'm trying to roll under. Is that correct? Yep, so if your whiz is 12, that means you need a 10 or less. Just about. Uh, is it equal or under? Equal or under, yeah. Yeah, okay, just then. It would be 11. Yeah. My whiz is 13. Okay, is minus yeah. No, they, they they believe you when you say you're sorry, and they're like, yeah. And so, uh, well, where did all these skeletons come from? They're, so like, that... they're just like yelling and uh, screaming about like the fact there's just tons of skeletons everywhere. So um, in that case, I can apply, I guess, a minus one to their attack initiative or damage. I think in this case, I'm. it makes most sense that it would affect their initiative because it will make them slower to react to the fact that the skeletons are attacking them. So yeah, next turn, they'll take a minus one penalty to initiative them. Does that, does that sound yeah. about yeah, right? That seems, that seems reasonable. And I mean, this was a very dirty trick. So... Yeah. Yeah. Um... They, uh, yeah, I was going to say, where would they have got to? And they will be over next to you, actually, because they'll be able to move that far. Um, that one, that skeleton will therefore not be there because he will be there because they're skirting the water. Obviously, unless they splash into the water, they're currently kind of blocked by you. Um, 
skeletons just start walking underwater, they will have... Yeah. So it's an advantage skeletons have. <laughs> um, and... Uh, I guess... Um, well, they will attack the skeletons this turn without any penalty. Uh, they'll, they'll be at a pe uh, without any initiative penalty, but they will be at a, at a hit penalty. Then the skeletons attack them, two on each. On the top one, both miss. On the bottom one, uh, that's probably a dead guy, isn't it? A newly dead, an extra dead guy, that is to say. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So that guy is just like, yeah, crying, yelling for help as he's swung out wildly and missed. And you're all presumably oh. staring on <laughs> at this point. Um, <laughs> in one of the darker moments in the campaign, hmm. uh, <laughs> the group goes full on Punisher. <laughs> they started it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if Quintus is in, his, uh, if he has his lictors, like his uh, his praetor's robes on or whatever, he will be like yelling at Quintus, uh, asking you to take him into custody. Mm. <laughs> New round declaration. Um. <laughs> Look away and try to ignore the screaming? Yeah, I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think basically, I'm not going to attack them, like, I, because, you know, they'll attack the skeletons, hopefully, being the present threat. Ooh. And I, you know... I don't know, is there one uh, guy left? Gola and... There's one guy left. I'll hit him with my singing stick. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Uh, Quintus and Gola, anything? I'm inclined to just... I might gift cure him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I think we need to put this guy out of his misery. Yeah, I think... I think I should rethink about this. I, I just do. I, I give girl. Yeah. D does Gola think about things? Is that really his character? No, he gifts us, therefore he is. Mm. Yeah. Assuming Quintus isn't doing too much. Uh, nope. I'm just telling uh, him that Simon he's... Simon, uh, mate. He must oh, yeah. experience the mercy and the... Yes, and now they'll behold the mercy of the great Andropinus. Right. As I clap my arms and do nothing. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, great. Um, so, Simon, my initiative is a one. Could you roll a d10 and could you make a, an encounter check, Simon? Okay, the D10 is a 4, the encounter check is a D6, right? Which is a 3. Yep, great. Okay, so he takes a penalty of 1. Um, he will still get to go first. He will attack a skeleton and miss um, as he's hacking at them, trying to like push his way through you guys and hacking at the skeleton. Uh, and so I guess singing sticks next. We'll assume it's your one attack round, Tom. Yep. Uh, I can't remember modifiers are i think it's like plus two uh yeah i don't have any bonus from strength and i think my proficiency gives me your thacko's 18 your specialism is another two so it's 16 so that'll be ac4 i assume yeah. yep that will hit okay Two damage. Okay, he's still he's still up as he looks around in surprise. He didn't have a shield, so he didn't get it. You didn't kind of 
do a bypass shield, you know, uh, attack bonus. But uh, he is still surprised and upset. Um, and <laughs> upset, Ithka, is he? I guess. 20! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 20. Um, um, in fact, I guess three skeletons. Three skeletons will get to hit him first because I think a Githka is a seven. Yeah, you're correct. Yep. A skeleton hits him and kills him. Ah. Your your natural twenty is wasted. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So there's now just a bunch of halfling skeletons looking. It's weird. They kind of just stand around, mutely staring at you. Do they not um, eat the dead or something? I don't know. What's their what's their deal? Put... Well, I mean, basically, we wait I mean, a few months. There's going to be four more skeletons. Mm. Oh, they turn them into more skeletons. No. Oh no, I see. They all just came in. Mm. Wow, it's a real skeleton. Yeah, all the other ones here. arrive. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the born zone. Um, uh, Asher, is that that's actually a crime to say that in Barlick? Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, they stand there mutely, kind of creep. Hmm. So just hanging out. We need to go take care of that uh, defiler. Yeah, we need to go. I'm just going to take care of their wallets. They're skeletons. They're... <laughs> Where do they keep the, their wallets? The, cops... the smugglers. Oh, the smugglers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he starts rifling the, the... To be fair, you did find some treasure on them last time. Like one thing, yeah. I think. People carry wallets and they don't need this. Um, Ken is going to try and give a rousing speech to the skeletons to try and harangue them into coming with us to kill the defiler. Uh, Best it, of luck. It does not succeed. Mm. <laughs> you do so, they do not do anything in reaction. Mm. Is it like an okay. Independence Day speech? Yeah. 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 The day is no longer. In retrospect, a bit, day. a bit like it the X Files, which I'm watching sun. at the moment. It's all of Athos Day. And they yeah. just and they just stare at you, um, uh, unmoving, <laughs> mutely, um, unmoved in every sense. Now, a lot I've recently watched watching the X Files at the moment, and there's a good parallel there, even though like Independence Day is obviously much less into the kind of Gen X paranoia, but it's definitely in on the same spectrum of like post Cold War stuff. Like literally, the U.S. president is like, "I declare on behalf of the whole of Earth, which I'm now in charge of." <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> our Independence Day. And you're yeah. like, okay, thanks, man. Hmm. The uh, thing I noticed about X Files is how, I mean, I love it, but how much it doesn't work in the new in like modern times. Like, it's just not as fun anymore. Like, conspiracies were fun in the '90s. Now it's now they're not so much fun. Anymore. Yeah. Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the government yeah. really is tiring say, all of us all the time. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, yeah, I think I think there's a, a point I read an article on that actually, which was like post nine. It still ran just after nine eleven, and it just feels completely different at that point. And of course, then you think twenty four comes in, and you're like, oh yeah, it's just a different world. Like the things that people that activate people are just different. Uh, yeah, cool. So you are out of combat because these are not hostile skeletons. Um, I'll tell how. Kent, you got some. You're not like on your last legs, are you? I have three HP, and I can give you like one with Orison. I mean, either way, Kent is going to be shooting from the back. I think. Wait, what? Well, are you generally a frontline fighter? Like, are you better? Um. That, that well, way? I know I'm. I'm good at. I'm good at both. Like, but I, you know. My virtue as a tank, it was my relatively large HP pool, which is now gone. 
Yeah. Well, I was going to say, well, then would it be better for me to... I have aid, right? That's why I've been staying close to you, because it's a fairly short duration spell, but it'll give you D8 temporary hit points. Right, um, right, and it'll right. it'll bless you. Would it be better to put that on Gola then? I would say put it on Gola because then that you'll have quite a lot of HP if he does that, right, Gola? Uh, yeah, Gola's currently on. He's only taken ten damage so far. Uh, yeah. So I'll yeah. So I just have to stay close because since it's a short duration spell, I don't want to cast too soon, and I have to touch you. So I want to be like yeah. right next to you as soon as we get as soon as we see. Yeah the wizard i will pump you with because it's it's like a combo yeah. hp plus bless cool yeah. nice andriad has some uh, spell slots as well doesn't he uh um, andriad was pretty he, might, he has i think he may have a second level um i think because he used uh did he use ray of Weakness or whatever. I'm trying to think what he did last time. I can check the I can check the XP record because then I can I can tell you what he has. I don't think he had any first level spell slots. No, I think he had, had because that was detect magic. Levels. Yeah, that was what he had left. Yeah, uh, he may have written down what he had, or he may have just I, it'll be on his character sheet what he what he can have. So I, I think, think he had he one had of each of his second level spells. Yeah. You said Adriad detect magic magic missile, or is that things he's already used? He's that's where he's already spent. Um he has basically has one each of his two second level spells. So if you look at his character sheet, you'll be able to find out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. Adriad. Third spell. the whole file then. Uh, Should we go and see if that defile is still around? I think we should, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to... Yeah, where uh, I go. think so. Can level, chance two, of the motion level 2, is... he's got blindness and ray of enfeeblement. I think blindness would be the most useful because I think enfeeblement only affects. So he has one of each of those with like a strength weapon, right? Strength. Yeah, this was the discussion last time. I think. Um, I will just check it that he has not cast either of them. Basically, so I think there have been some discussion. Actually, I I, I think he may have even said last time. Oh yeah, I might like a couple of sessions ago. Oh no, last time we played, because uh, did, did play? no, last last time he didn't play, did he? But the time before, I think it was like, oh yeah, I've got blindness if it's like a thing. Um, yeah, he didn't cast last time at all. The time before, he cast Magic Missile. That was in fights with, uh, that was the big group of bandits. Alright, well I will stay right behind gola as we go mm -hmm. yeah do you want to deploy yourself into a new march order then if you're intending to go back hunting the i presume you're going back is what you're suggesting you're gonna go and yeah. hunt yeah. this guy down mm -hmm. uh i'll i'll be the rear guard yeah kent will be in the middle um yeah. i guess gola and uh quintus up front kent will follow at maybe like three squares back and then um Asher and the rest of them can be with or behind Kent. Oh. I was going to say, it's technically a single file passage here. Yeah, should, so we, should we form probably... up in this room? Ha uh, yeah, I was going to say, for, for, form up in the next room. I can move Adriad and uh, Nasir into position. Adred Adr will go back rank, presumably. Yeah. Um, Nasir can go middle rank if desired. Quintus is currently sitting on top of Adriad. Yeah, cool. You gotta go in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I will be touching your shoulder from behind.
If if you indeed have a shoulder. I have many. <laughs> do you do you qualify as having a shoulder? I mean, let's see, like I say, can go middle rank with Kent, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. And then when we have to have single file, I guess it will go Gola, Quintus, Kent, Gola, Nasher, yeah. Kent, Nasher, yeah. Nasher, and then Adriad, and that's here. <laughs> Nasher from Dennis the Menace. Yeah. Weird story. I think it. I think it's even down to the week of release or something. But the two Dennis the Menaces in the UK and the US apparently are completely unrelated. They're they were released in the same year, possibly in the same week, I think, or something crazy like that. Just completely different things. What you mean, like the? It's like the world the spirit spoke what? to the creators. Yeah, the comic. Yeah, the comic. Yeah. Oh, weird. It is also thing like the American Dennis the Menace is like completely innocuous, and the British Dennis the Menace is actually one of the worst people who's ever existed. Yeah, an actual menace. Yeah, he's yeah. like yeah, like the real old old sense of the word. Yeah, yeah. Menace to society. <laughs> At one point, um, there were two. There were two completely oh, yeah, separate like, Sonic cartoons on at the same time. Wow. Like, yeah. Maybe well, at some bad. point you mean... Presumably like, that was the same line. license, though. It, but presumably those were like... That was the same license, though. It wasn't like there were two people who invented a blue hedgehog called Sonic. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. But they were like made wow, by different geez. teams. They felt completely different. But they were yeah, aired yeah. like at the same time. Yeah. No, I have. I've only watched Sonic Underground, which I enjoyed. Um, we should do some encounter checks as we walk back through. I guess uh, let's start with Beach Beach Roller D6 because actually Simon did. I think the last time we actually bothered mm -hmm. with initiative. Um, Beach D6, and then so that's into the that's into the cistern room or whatever, like the one with the water underground. Um, and then Kent, I guess, or Tom, do you want to roll down to that junction? Um, I, I actually need to check the map and check where the opponents are. Check the order of battle. Yep. Opponents. Great. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, it's going to be Andrew as you head into the room with the barricade, roll a d6. Uh, five! Right. So yeah, uh, the barricade appears uh, abandoned. Uh, but if no one else is going to approach it, I guess I might put, sneak up and poke my head over. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you can see down a corridor. You've got infra. Yeah. Sixty, haven't you, or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll be able to see about 40 before too much light refracts uh, from a, a la an opening at the end of that corridor. Uh, so you can see that there is some sort of light in a room down the corridor. Or down the tunnel, I guess. Uh, there is also the passage south, uh, which, um, now that you are more into the room actually, uh, with a light, presumably. Um, i trying to think in terms of tracking. Yeah, you'll still have... Uh, Adriad's Lantern will be fine for now. You will see that there is a, um, a doorway uh, to the south. Um, which... Let's just check my notes if there's anything you need to know about that. Uh, yeah, there is a, um, a portcullis to the south. Set into a proper stone frame. Well, I'm guessing you didn't go that way. Like but it's... Bit... That's right. oh. There's no sign of movement near this portcullis. It doesn't appear to be manned or anything. From where you are, no. Um, it's uh, it, it's rusted.
what are we thinking? Right or uh, east or south? Uh, I'm assuming east. I was. Like, east. They were manning that barricade before. Yeah. Until we massacred them. Yeah. Oh, yes, east. Uh, <laughs> you got until you got, the war like, crimes. I don't have anything, any NWPs for this, but I don't know if anybody else does. He he took a wound as we were retreating. So do we see any blood droplets yep. or anything going in a direction? I mean, that'd be a tracking thing. If someone thing, has tracking... Yeah. I don't have it. Does anybody Which else? I do not. Uh, sorry, nothing useful. <laughs> yeah, the one range of the party has had died heroically and... Um, Missing seven times in a row versus a boulette. Very heroically. I'll use. I would like to use my astrology to read the blood droplets like a constellation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That divination is divination is an NWP, but you don't. You mm. know, I don't assume you have it. So. <laughs> no, I have. I have astrology. Um, so I can tell you your horoscope. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't. Yeah, I can do nothing else. Yeah. Uh, I have fast talking. Um, I can pretend that I know what the, how to track. He's yeah, definitely you that track way. Everyone else into thinking you're tracking. Yeah. Oh, you, you sound like you know what you're talking about. Let's let's go where you say. Uh, to the east. Cool. For, yeah, form up at the mouth of that passage then. Kent is going to leave just a bit of distance between first group and him. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the others of you form form up behind me. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Simon, do you want to, yeah, D6 encounter check as you come down this passage? We are safe. Mm. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Um, let me just... I should have actually done this before. I should have... Oh, I hadn't even thought about it, um, but I will next time. Uh, great. Let me just... Um, make sure I know what's in that room and set it up and stuff. Finally, oh, I guess we'll have to use that one. Okay, so um, you will come up to the uh, entrance, kind of, I guess, or maybe it's that kink in the road and, and look down, and you'll see um, that, uh, yeah, uh, you'll see some figures um, beyond. Uh, behind boxes you'll you'll also hear some hurried movement and uh, some muttering about packing um still all this of is, these i guys. guess gola okay so 
So. Sounds like people. Sounds like gift green time. Ah. My, my favourite part is when he said it was it's gift giving time and he gifted all over everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully they'll repeatedly re-release uh, the uh, film Gola, the Githka Master, into the cinema each time. Still failing, even though they think he's a meme now, and everyone wants to come watch him. I wasn't expecting that to be two people with special partlets. That's mildly scary. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, actions. You are... I'll, 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 I'll put... I'll, I'll put uh, Gola where I sort of stuck him there 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 is light on in this room <laughs> there's electric light no there is there is there are some braziers out here so this is this is lit and yeah you're yeah. just in a slight curve in the uh in the tunnel uh it's aid time How long does it take to uh, at least three full rounds? So, okay. In theory, we could go back to this room and I could inspire you, or you could just cast aid. I guess that works. I was going to say if you. Yeah, if you if you if you want to if you want to take time to inspire, you and the seer can do that. But it'll take three four, it'll take three minutes. Yeah, not three turns, three minutes. Up to you. So up to you. And they they haven't seen us yet, right? Uh, not seeming. I mean, uh, as in they are not unaware. They're not kind of like chilling out. They are. You know, no, no, no. But they, they don't know that we right now are coming down the passage, right? No, there's a reasonable amount of noise in that room as they are like putting things uh, and sorting things. Maybe you could take the time yeah. to inspire then, Asher. Yeah. Um, what does it do, and how many people can you do it for? Um, the, if the exact number of pending threat is known, Bard can insp he vocally inspire his companions, granting uh, a plus one bonus to attack rolls or a plus one bonus to saving rolls. Or a plus two bonus to morale. I'm assuming we'd probably want to attack rolls to yeah, try and overwhelm yeah. them, but I would um, say so. it just um, must spell it to spend at least three full rounds singing or reciting before the battle begins. Range of ten feet, power experience level of the bard, but doesn't give an upper limit. Nasir can also do the same. But yeah, are you retreating to do that? Or are you doing it where you are? I think we should. Doing? Just because if we make noise, they might hear us if we're in the corridor. I mean, sing quietly, yeah. basically. And it would last for three rounds after the kicking off point. No, it would last for three rounds after I finish. Mm. Like one round per level. Well, I mean. I'm happy to do it. I wouldn't mind a bonus going in. And yeah, what what do we think, guys? Should we do it? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Right. Back off. You know, team huddle. We got this, guys. We just need a simple game plan. We rush in. We stab them as much as possible, as quickly as possible. You said we Leroy Jenkins. It. You said Nasir could do it as well. Presumably, it doesn't. Stack. Leroy. <laughs> we know we judged it did stack. Remember. Oh, sick! Then yeah, Nasir can do there's it as well. There's no, there's no, there's no exception that. Yeah, this was with the antloids. I mean, hey, I'm happy yes. to take uh, correction in the in the comments, but um, this did come up that time, and the conclusion was it just says you gain plus one to hit. Yeah. So. Nice. Then yeah, definitely, definitely both of them if, you, if they can. Yeah, go team. Mhm. Mm mm. Right, uh, Great. Yeah, we do it. We move in quick. We stab them a lot. Go team out here. We got this. Mm -hmm. And then, as you come back up, you want Quintus to cast aid. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. We do the job, we get paid. I can think of nothing more inspiring. So moving. Mm. Uh, let's check. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, see, so yeah, put yourself back into your positions. Adrad obviously can't see anyone. You you can barely see anyone in your positions. Yeah. So, but yeah, move, move yourself back into where you want to be before the combat round. The girl, or I guess you want to be, yeah, in front of Princess, probably. Mm. And then I guess, uh, Adriad, yeah, will want, yeah, nearby. I mean, they can come up behind you, obviously. They don't have any targets at the moment, so. Um, cool. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they're still going. I'm still looking round. Uh, declare actions. Um, Quintus is aid. Aid takes what's its um, time? What's the cast of time? Ah, it's like CLW then. Okay, that Gola. If you're waiting for that, obviously that will add on to your uh, your attack, but that's fine. Yep. Um, Are you Githkring? I will give care, but once the. Uh... <laughs> Maybe poison dagger. Uh, so Kent, obviously you're currently some way back in a passage, so it's a bit awkward. So it depends what you want to do. You can't really arc your arrow. Are you going to be moving forward after them, or? I, uh, yeah, I'll move forward you as they move Gola. forward, and I will yes. then fire an arrow oh. at the wizard. Yeah. And uh, Gola, who are you Githkring? I will charge the man with a stick in the middle and attempt to give case face or be struck down by a spell. That is the, defi that is the defiler who... Yeah, that's... Uh, well, or be shot by... Ken, um, These are acceptable yeah. risks. I guess... Te 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 no, te technically, Kent will be firing before you. If you all move forward, Kent will be firing before you. So I guess maybe look on the bright side. Yeah. Uh, Asher. Were you saying dagger? Dagger. Take that knife, poison. Sorry. Knife, technically. I keep dagger. I keep forgetting yeah, yeah. all the different things. Yeah, well they do different they do different damage, remember. So Yeah, I mean I only have knives, That's I don't have daggers. And then uh, do you want do you want to throw a second one unpoisoned? Because it's uh, rough too, I think. That's fine, I can do that, yeah. Who are you gonna throw knives at? Um It might be better to try and throw them at Samurai Jack if everyone else is yeah. watching the Defiler. It depends if I, I'm trying to decide if I think we can kill him, the so, Defiler, quickly. As, yeah, I was going to say, um, uh, yeah, what you can see, uh, the robed guy is here next to the Defiler. Mm -hmm. And there is... Um, so that guy's actually in robes. These would be better in a funny way the other way around. I just didn't realize, I didn't have a second token that was suitable. Um, uh, and then this guy is... A, just a, a human, apparently. Mm. Just hanging out, but uh, he uh, he's in uh, he's in sort of a nicer. He's not in armored. You know, he's not wearing stu obvious stud leather. He's wearing kind of flowing um, clothes, silk clothes. Uh, I think I'm going to aim at the new guy, the one above the def that one. Yeah, robed guy. Yeah. Uh, can Kent also taunt and... one of the guards using his taunting proficiency? Uh, I think so. I think we've concluded that you can just do that and uh, attack before, haven't we? Because I think it. Yeah, it doesn't say instead of attacking before. or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you 
you've got your actions. I mean, Adriad can't really see anyone at the moment, so probably Adriad will prepare to cast Blindness, I think, next turn. Yeah. Nasir is assuming he's moving forward and going to attack a, a bandit. So, mm -hmm. Okay, I get a six. Uh, Beach, initiative, D10, as you charge in. Uh, they are not surprised. They are watching that direction, but uh, yeah, you were staying far off back and stuff. Uh, so remember, you have um, three rounds left of hit to hit bonus because you spent a round moving up. If you think, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Um, what did you get, Andrew? Eight. Oh, Beach got an eight. eight. Beach got an eight. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, that means uh, you'll mo you'll start moving at technically two equivalent, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they will react and draw weapons and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Quintus, as you come into the room, the robed guy looks over at you and uh, says in a, a northern uh, Tyrian um, accent, he uh, uh, he uh, 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 says, "Ah, one of Andropinus's democratic dogs." And uh, yeah, uh, pulls his hood back uh, to reveal. Um, yeah, uh, he's wearing a headdress uh, that you will think uh, you will think reminds you. I don't, don't know your your Tyrian geography, but will remind you of um, one of the northern cities. Uh, yeah, he will uh, turn round to the uh, to I guess to the um, the silk shirt guy and. Um, will say uh, Winsor I feel like you have failed me in this uh, in my city we would sacrifice you uh, to please the god and uh, the guys that they're just above him kind of sweating vigorously says uh, well uh, perhaps we could uh, I could expedite your your uh, departure uh, fine sir um, he, and he says uh, lo looking over at some, the boxes as you're kind of coming in and they're kind of arming themselves kind of says maybe uh, but yes, in that case, uh, they are armed and have whatever they have, I guess, these guys um, will try to uh, get in the way, so to reduce the number of attacks you can make. Gola, I guess, I'm assuming Gola is taking priority of trying to get into the way next to the um, Yeah, the yeah. Filer. This is um, so so it's going to be uh, the first. The first thing, though, before Gola actually gets there, because Gola is slow, is the missile attacks. So that is going to be um, Quintus. You've cast aid um, at the same time that Kent. I mean, at, yeah, Asher and Kent when we move into the room. Kent, you're going to fire your bow at the defiler first. Why get to fire? And yeah, you also get to fire at the uh, roped guy. And we get plus. Two from inspiration, two. right? Yeah, plus so two. So yeah. So your Thaco, your Thaco in second oh. edition, that just means your Thaco is two better. Technically, that is not the case in first edition uh, because AC first edition ha doesn't have AC zero. That hits uh, does not have a flat progression. Okay, uh, it's AC two on the charts. Oh, versus the defiler. Uh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. I, I don't know how to do a custom dice. It's like. Ah, there we go. One, two. Okay, I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do it in the Discord because I don't remember um, how to do it on here. At uh, beach, does aid just give eight temporary hit points? Is that what you said? No. And bless, I think. No, it's a D8 four. plus bless, so you you get four temporary hit points plus the <clears throat> effects of the bless spell. Which is um, plus one, two, attack, and save. So the knife does no damage, but... No, nope. um, but it does force save or die poison. Gets... Save or die? Yep, type F. This is versus poison. Um, I'll just... Yeah. As is in that, type that's context, get for that. Um, inject, instant, <laughs> death, yeah. slash, zero damage. Inject, yeah. Yeah, well, the knife does no damage, but that's obviously not the relevant thing, because I think yeah. you probably just killed the guy. 
I bought knives as cheap poison delivery systems, basically. And, yep, I think that is that character. Put that, that guy down. Is one of the fancy boys down? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, the... Owen's just trying to figure out if there's any way that he could have not died. Yeah, well, I just checked, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't che make Checking his uh, stuff. You, you don't, you oh, don't, yeah. Well, you don't want to mess up uh, saying, like, oh, yes, that, that killed him, and then be like, oh, well, actually, wait a second. No. He has oh, the immune, he had the a immune to poison uh, kit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. He's immune oh, yeah. to death. The immune to death kit. It's a really good, really strong kit. I don't know why they allowed it. Mm. There's one thing, people whine about Spellsinger, and I'm like, Man, there are way more uh, broken combos in 5th edition when you like get a good subclass with uh, mm. some feats and stuff. You're like, nah, yeah. spell singer is fine. Um, cool. Okay. So, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, um, we'll also have Nasir come in behind and fire before you engage and miss. He fires at a bandit, so, yeah. Gola then is going to take the one angle he can take mm -hmm. to attack the defiler. And this is his one attack turn, not his two attack turn. Or three for yep. two. First round of combat. Cool. His first round of combat, so yeah. Yeah. 19! He's rolling like a boss, so that's quite wow. good. Yeah, you hit. As well. um, yeah. The, how, much, the, how much damage did the arrow do? Was it two damage or something, Tom? Uh, three. Three. Well, you can add another three to that, because I rolled a terrible of a damage draw. Yeah, uh, he is badly wounded as the arrow strikes him, and you just hack his head off. Ha! Um, we okay. accept surrender, just ask the last guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I guess uh, new round. Oh. Adriad does not declare blindness against anyone, because he doesn't care. He, he thinks... <laughs> he doesn't think there's anyone um, who's going to I've fire taunted out. one of the bandits as well, remember. So he has to. Uh, did you successfully taunt him? Did you roll the check? Uh, <laughs> good point. No, I didn't. One sec. I feel like there was a check. Uh, I succeed on my proficiency. He then has to save versus paralyzation. Mm -hmm. Or attack you. Uh, no, mm -hmm. if he, he just he just gets minus two attack penalty, but plus one to damage. And minus one to AC. He doesn't have to attack me. If he's if he's mm. wisdom fourteen or greater, it doesn't it doesn't affect him. No, he's not wisdom fourteen or greater. So it's essentially it is like the um, Warhammer quest effect hatred, where you're like minus one weapon skill, plus one strength, basically. Uh, no plus one, yeah, something like that. You just can you you're basically he's so angry he'll do lots of damage, but he just finds it hard to hit people. Yeah. So minus one AC, minus one to um, hit, but plus one damage. Yeah. Okay. Gola and Co. declare actions. Gola. Uh, swing with the gift care at the guy standing next to me. I am going to say, leave the swashbuckler. Uh, I'm probably just going to try and get like, there He looks like a man I know. We have unfinished business. Uh, I am. My my action is I am going to cast another spell. Uh, which is my other second level spell, Charm, Person, or Mammal. And this guy is both a person and mammal. Mm -hmm. Is that um, speed two? Who, uh, who are you charming? The silk shirt guy? Yeah, the swashbuckler guy. And uh, yeah, it is or, or speed F. five. Yeah. And, and I'm going to jump okay. behind. If I can still see him from here, basically I want to swap places. Um, to try to avoid my spell being interrupted, hopefully, in case someone comes out. Yep, Asher. Um, oh, Asher, you had a second dagger. You should have fired a I second did, dagger yes. last turn. Uh, me. Did you make that? Would yeah. only be an AC five uh, against one of the bandits. Hit. That would hit the bandit, yeah. Oh, they're just okay. running stuff One, together. one, two, three, minus one, two damage, and I'm running out of knives. You can pick up a couple here at least. Mm -hmm. There's that. I think this turn, no, I'm going to run in and use Burning Hands on the low-level 
guys. Can fire another arrow at the glad one of the gladiators. The one he taunted, I suppose. You mean completely mundane yeah. breathe fire through Exactly, yeah. But... yeah yes. <laughs> you should be like a two You can only make a big show of sort of just taking a swig out of the hip um, flask. It's time. empty, but you don't know that. So Kent, but Kent, if you don't move, you can fire twice, so I assume you're doing that. Yeah. Nasir will use a sling. Asher, you doing anything this turn, Asher? Depending on how many <laughs> knives you have, I guess. Burning hands and somatic concealment. Which is on speed one. Yeah, I think we're I think we're swapping places is what's gonna happen. Yeah. And he's gonna burn mm -hmm. hands and I'm gonna charm. I mean, if, I'm thinking if I move, like, there, I get a very nice angle on the three of them. Oh, sorry. Kent, no, sorry Tom, about. beat my team. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, buddy, you're yeah. swapping with Nasir, that's fine. Yeah, yeah Nasir I'm the one that's labelled Asher. Um, yeah, Tom. Nope. Initiative. <laughs> sorry, Ron. Okay. Uh, oh. In that case, I guess... Um... Uh... These guys, I think he will say, it's uh, time to leave, gentlemen, and um, start. Yeah. I mean, fair. Here, off map. The other guys he, he ran uh, south, who have he? not broken morale. Right, southeast, yeah. Um, they will, one of them will get an attack off at Gola. As they go. Which misses. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, right, but I guess the target of my spell is no longer visible, but I would still be able to move. I mean Yep. You can still charm someone if you want. As in you can you can shift target for something I think is is really Yeah, I so. really want to charm the guy and sort of kind of in charge though yeah so you're you're, you're, you're gonna save the spell then that's fine right. yeah um, would i not be first anyway so in that case uh burning hands yep you'll be going first asher uh can move move yourself roll your somatic concealment probably uh yeah yeah i'm just saying first. i would i would chase after them too so i would move up. as he gets oh is it roll under uh roll under yep yeah. uh roll your well, spell that's bad. roll your damage for your spell uh, well, the uh, good news that it's one. What he does, oh. yeah, Qu Quintus. Oh. What he does is immensely suspicious, and uh, you feel like you probably have uh, not just one wizard but two wizards on your hands. Though you don't feel any pain, though, Quintus, as you do it, as he does, oh. as he kind of raises his uh, hands, and you see flame flicker from there at the end. Um, uh, have you rolled damage, Andrew? Uh, rolled it in the Discord because once again, it's a D three one. Uh, one D3 plus four, five um, damage. Uh, I have to figure out how to do D3 in this. Nice roll, let's do it. Um, when I click on that, I still don't see the option for D3s anywhere. No. Nope. Uh, you can, Yeah, I guess you could use D6s, but yeah, you're right. Or you could type um, yeah. I think you, uh, some rule sets, like... Yeah, can you do that in the chat? <laughs> Some rule sets have macro set up in Roll20, but it obviously is just a... Are you doing that? Actually, no, yeah, Five it, does work. it does work. I was just checking if it worked. Uh, slash oh, R yeah. space 1D3. Okay, right, I'll learn it for the future then. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no worries. Okay, that's going to hit all three of them. Um, so all three make save versus spells. I feel like they need a 16 or 17. Okay, that was a fail. And that's also a fail on my part because I meant to roll three of those. Yeah. Uh, that is three, so that is going to be five damage to three of them. Isn't it, I think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that just kills all three. They're just all incinerated. Can we see down the passage to where the other guy is, perhaps? Great. So oh, this is awkward. Uh, yeah, I will, I will accurately... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ash just steps forward and burns uh, them all to a crisp. There are some crates and stuff around here. One. Two. 
Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I will give you your distance in a second, Kent, for your question, which is a perfectly reasonable one. Um, yeah, Alaska, you do not get to Githka. Oh. Uh, get, you did kill the Defiler, though, so that's going to yes, be, but yeah. that's your only bonus XP, I think, because, yeah, uh, we should make sure to remember, uh, I think Asher has killed one person, which will mean, because he, uh, remember, th thief types get half the equivalent XP okay. as fighter types for battle. killed like three people sorry. just now. Um, I killed one Templar and f three guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I cast one spell, if that counts for mages. Yeah. I may be being executed in about five minutes, so we'll see how well this ends for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So Kent, if you come forward to, I guess uh, no, sorry, this Asher, not Kent. We don't. Doesn't matter about Kent for now, does it? Uh, whoops! I just killed Asher. Yay! <laughs> Wait, why am I? My, my one way to guarantee killing you is uh, just accidentally deleting you. Want? It. Okay. So yeah, you can just see down to a room at the far end. Uh, like, this isn't precise, but yeah, you can see into some sort of room there. Uh, you cannot see the guy who's fled. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> are we going to pursue, or are we just going to... I mean, if Quintus wants to pursue while I mop up things here, make sure everything's safe. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got control of the situation. Quintus and Golar, I mean, you guys are fast. Relatively speaking, yeah, I mean, I don't mind chasing him down the tunnel into the uh, abyss, and, uh... I think we've killed just about everyone in this place. <laughs> yeah. They'll be routed anyway, we killed their boss. Mm. Yeah, I would ch I would go uh, chase after him while shouting back down the tunnel. Uh, Anything you pick up off these bodies, I'm looking at when I get back. Okay. Okay. I immediately go to the defiler and start looking for a spell book. <laughs> uh, you do not find a book on him. Uh, actually. Uh, yeah, go, does, is Gola's move 15? Because is Gola un, unencumbered, Simon? Uh, We've discussed this before, is it? We have discussed this before, and I just need to double check. I think Gola, oh. he might be carrying something uh, specific, but no, generally speaking, he's unencumbered. Like, all he's really got is his weapons. Yep. Uh, we did actually. Uh, food. Uh, you also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his movement is 15. Uh, by the way, another way Daniel tells us in the comments to roll D3 is uh, double square bracket, D3, double square bracket. That sounds familiar, actually, yes. Same. Okay. Thank you, Daniel, in the comments. Yeah, something to bear for the future. Uh, oh, square oh. rocket. Uh, that would not be yeah. all of my movement. Oh, cool. okay. um, is there any light, mm -hmm. like, as I run down this tunnel? Um, no. Oh, so uh, I guess once I get to the, end of the tunnel, I, I mean, probably... You can Obviously, Adrad Adrad could be behind you a little way, but obviously he's not going to go all the way up there. So you'll just run out of light and be, you know. Can Orison produce light? So yeah, sure. Is that one of the things Orison can You've do? Cast your Orison. Did I? No, he didn't. He You've cast your Orison. He he didn't use oh, Orison on me. Okay. Is that one of the things Orison does? Uh, check in the house rules. Oh, um, yeah, where, where check is in this? the house rules. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Uh, uh, calm, clarity, courage, guidance, healing, magic sense. Memory with this. No, that I can see. Alright. Um, Do you have any torches? I didn't bring any adventuring gear with me. Cause... I, Kent, Kent has torches. I can, I can give you a torch. Yeah. I mean, I could toss you a torch, you know, just poke it on one of the smouldering corpses if you need to light it. Yeah, well, stopping to light a torch is probably just letting this guy get away. 
Did he there are braziers I mean... in that room, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm just... He, he must... If he's human, then he's kind of fumbling around in the dark, too. But I guess I have to stop here because I I won't know once I once I can't feel the walls anymore I'll be like I don't know where to go. Yeah. Ken can come run and give you a torch. Yeah. Okay. So on the next round, just say what's happening that round. Kent is going to run and give you a torch. Yeah. I will see. Yeah, I'll see. Okay. Gola, Gola pursuing as well. Uh, yeah, Gola is pursuing. Gola has the bloodlust. Nasi will come and hang out with Asha. Keep an eye on him. No. Sorry, Queen don't have uh, infra. Yeah. I mean, I guess Adriad can run after you with a, another torch. He still has a spell. You know, he's not a coward necessarily. Uh, okay, so Andrew, D10. Necessarily. D10. Uh, yep. Nine. I get a nine. Nine. Eight. I, I get eight, you get a nine. That's, yep. yeah. Okay, <laughs> he's somehow still quicker than you, despite the fact that he is slow. Um, okay, so um, can you, as you enter this room, then you're, you're, I'll, I'll reveal stuff as we go, but. I guess, Quintus, as you were first into the room, do you want to roll a d6 encounter as you head into the next room? The room you just arrived in. Uh, yep, okay. So, uh, you're all moving 12 for your first move, aren't you? I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Kent is slower. But Kent is just handing off, so yeah. So, Kent, you run forward and hand off. Let me just uh, reveal the. You can actually see slightly more than this. Don't you? Come back. I need to show you the uh, mercy of Androponis. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Quintus, you get to here. Um, and I guess Gola technically can be ahead of you. Maybe Gola should take the torch. He can pretty much be. The he can be at the head at the front of the uh, light. Adriad can definitely keep up with Quintus because he wasn't that far behind him. The canary Kent, in the mine. I guess lit a torch. Kent lit a torch, didn't he? So yeah. Kent's just going to go back um, into the room and see what loot there is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you continue pursuing, uh, you will get to another. Uh, room. I'll stop you at the edge of it. Uh, Simon, do you want to make the encounter check? As ja Jamie is not here to take the blame for an encounter check as you enter another room. Five. Yep. So, uh, this room has cloth matting uh, all over the uh, floor. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, kind of yes, yeah, so the 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 texture of the walls, the stone on the walls is much more, f um, yeah, friable and damaged. Friable textured walls with damage and cloth matting on the floor. Yeah, like the walls seem to be damaged and crumbly. The floor is covered in matting here. Mm. Can we hear where the guy is going? Do we hear sounds? going to the north or to the south or is he sort of gone unless someone has to go you hear you've heard some noise but i don't know if you can hear any specific direction are uh, there is the relevant skill any dust on the floor any footprints anything like that um the mat uh, if there is it'd be hard to see on the matting it's like rush matting rush matting there's been, been wo woven together again mm -hmm. if you want to have a look at it with a nwp you can but Nothing. Like he, might, he might be gone. Um, yeah. Does it look like are there are there like uh, any containers or sacks or bags or anything? In this room, no. There were in the room the room that the uh, Asher and Nasir have stayed in. Yeah, we're securing maybe, them. I think maybe we'll just go back. Because um, now I can't tell which which direction he went. So. 
Yeah. This may just be the one that got away for now. We know, well, if you wanted to try one more direction, back the way we came, like back to where we came in, that was where it looks like they came in, right? So you could see if he's tried to go up yeah. further. But I mean, yeah. If, if just if you were going to guess one direction or the other, that seems like the most reasonable given what we know. Yeah, because I know I know that's where we came in. So yeah, see if we can at least catch him before he gets the ladder. But if not, yeah, we'll go back. So maybe we'll do one more round of chasing. Hope you get the initiative. <laughs> uh, you still have movement this round, so if that's what you want to do, I was just stopping you because you'd come to a new room. Yeah, we're, we'll we'll hustle north. Northeast. Okay. Um, Gola, as you move across ahead of the others, um, uh, you step on something. Something yeah. crunches under you, yeah, and uh, uh, no, um, there. Uh, yeah. Uh, instead, chunks of wool start falling in. Uh, could. Um, I'm trying Not to think that, about speed. Could you make a save versus Could you make a save versus paralysis, please, Gola? Just to say, you were warned about this. I have business. not been saved. You're bad players. Yeah, I, I didn't want to go into this, but I, I didn't mind. Um, yeah, I'm not saved. I will be paralysed. Uh, that's you are smashed to the floor with ten damage. Uh, uh, not uh, dead, but uh, not good. Not good. Uh, Quintus, I guess uh, you're if you you are you were also moving, as in you've got the declared move before you can stop. Obviously, um, let's just oh, come on. get the right option up. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you will. Uh, if you are you, if you um do you run past gola you can stop when you get to Gola, or you can keep going no if something fell on gola i'll stop Quintus. like if he got smashed <laughs> then i won't yeah I'll, I'll i'll take the l on this one and uh stop and try and help him up and make sure he's not dying yeah that's sweet Well, originally I was like, I want a prisoner, but now I'm thinking, like, we might actually have a prisoner in disguise, so to speak. Like, we might get what we want just from the bodies, so perhaps <laughs> oh, we okay. go back. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable Asher, silence between Asher's all of the, the women's disguise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was talking about that. Um, no, I, I, I would go back. Uh, to the are room. you return? Are you returning back to the storeroom? Yep, great. Yeah, how uh, hurt yeah, are you? Yeah, there's a Nasi can't move. Um, I have four hit points left. Well, can I, can I pull him yeah. out of the rubble? You can like... help. You can help him from other. You can help out of the rubble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll return to the room. I'd say others. Quintus is grateful that Gola. It has quicker movement, has higher movement. Mm. Uh, yes, so you, it would have killed me because I have, well, no, it wouldn't have killed me outright, but I have nine hit points, so I would have been dying. Okay. Uh, uh, Simon, uh, Simon, do you want to roll an encounter check as you return? You're helped out and you return. On, so on that turn, could you roll an encounter check? Uh, could someone scratch, could someone scratch uh, whoever... Adriad was um, carrying torches from scratch another torch because that will be out. You have a torch lit, so don't worry about giving another one to him. But um, it might be Kent. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll take whoever was uh, Kent. Kent's got got a couple. Yeah. I was going to say that and scratch one off. Yeah. Cool. So as in that, it, yeah, um, that is that one expired. So yeah, uh, right. you've got one torch lit, which has been burning for uh, only like two rounds, so it's less than a turn. So don't worry about that. You know, it, it's still. It's still, it's still got basically an hour left. Okay, you're back in this room. You see that there are some cots and stuff here too, like very simple beds, um, and uh, several crates. So what, what did, we, what do we find? Open. And what does Asher tell us that we found? 
I've been cataloging all of these things well, very Nisir... carefully with Nazir's help. Uh-huh. Nisir, Nisir, the one thing is Nasir, who is uh, a Hakisra loyalist, has been like monitoring things. So probably Asher has not stolen everything. Probably statistically. No. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. What I care about is well. evidence. I want. Uh, I want documents. I want a suspicious letter. Something. I was mostly looking for yeah. books and money. S- uh, so yeah, um, you will, there will be some money. I mean, uh, the the uh, the small amount of I, you will not find much money on the torched bandits because it'll probably yeah. be melted. It'll probably be like ceramic that's been uh, blown up. Uh, I can check. I can save for it after the session. I won't worry about that now. But it's going to be small Fair amounts enough. if it survives anyway. Uh, hey, this is the thing about like uh, I'm thinking about a time where. Um, Kept players used what well, uh, they they used like oil to burn spiders to webs, which was a brilliant plan. Uh, it did destroy yeah. like the jewelry in the you know in the spiders webs. They got no treasure. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So um, the there are some chests with some rations in um, and some silks. Uh, there is uh, also a heavier chest. Which is shut but not locked. Uh, I know how this one works. Ch- check for tra- fa- find traps. Yep, go for it. Um, I you roll that. You roll find remove traps. So insanely, I actually succeeded. Ten percent chance. I rolled ten. It, so there is no trap. That is good news because it means you don't have to roll it again. And also you earn XP for that, so that's good. You didn't. Yay! Oh, so yeah, great. I'm going to kick the chest uh, open. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it has in it, um, it's metal lined, and inside, um, in uh, various wrappings, which I assume you want to look in the wrappings, you're going kind to of, risk yeah. there being a, a uh, iron cobra in there. Um, there is, um, though, hey, be. Be- Beach can tell you how to do with Nine Cobra. Um, is there is a metal sword, and there is a bone dagger. There is a uh, a beautiful scrolled quiver with ten bone arrows. Mm-hmm. I just uh, casually, I casually took the bone dagger into my potion to me chiefs. Uh, everyone would have seen that, but yes, that is fine. Yeah. Uh, is that just we've lost Beach? No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Be- Beach has been uh, has got family responsibilities. Uh, he wants to take the de- defile his body back, and yeah, he wants to know. Basically, I'm assuming unless there is a sight of hand check, anything that happens here is overseen because obviously yeah. Nasir was here the whole time. And over us, you can you can sight of hand. That's okay. I'm just oh, giving yeah. you the game state. Uh, yeah. And there will be uh, there is no book in and around the defiler. Uh, there will be some money on the beheaded defiler, uh, and there'll be some he- money on the headdressed guy. Uh, there'll probably be, I need to double check, but there'll be some other bits on the headdressed guy as well. Right. Um, so, yeah. Um, like there's a potion vial, um, and, uh, there's some sort of weird funky weapon. Which, uh, Kent is probably like, I'm automatically proficient in... Is it including exotics? Do gladiators get exotics for free as well for proficiency? I believe so. Or is so. it just, uh... I think it just... I think you just get proficiency with yeah. all weapons, just straight up. I think that's, that's how it works. Basically, you're just so used to using weapons, you pick up a new one and you're like, oh, it probably does this, yeah. basically. Yeah. I think you have to train for specialization. But it's the gimmick. But you're proficient with just about everything. Mm. That's right. No, the the point is, gladiators use proficiencies for specialisations. Oh. Ah, yeah. Um, which is what why they're so good. You still get proficiencies, but you just don't use them for proficiencies. You use them for specialisations, which presumably you did. You would have spent like two on the bow, one on the singing sticks, and one on something else. Yeah, yeah, or whatever it is. I think that's been a while since I've run that. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Um, Ocean bottle, which do... I'm not volunteering. Yeah, to what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. Take take all this loot, get uh, up that ladder, and escape. Yeah, yeah. Start packing. <laughs> Leave. Yeah. Cool. 
Okay, uh, we're going to want a few uh, checks. In fact, no, given it's mapped, just one check to get out because you basically you're not uh, you're not exploring rooms. You're passing through rooms you already know, so you yeah. can move. Like, <laughs> and we've already triggered the trap, so. As it... Hey, hopefully we'll find out as you get back there. Um, you Tom, mentioned we'd heard of it. Who, check, where did we hear about one. it? I thought the guards didn't mention it. Prisoners who you've left tied in the northern room. Um, they they said that the uh, the southwestern junction was trapped. Ah, uh, got this. They, they did. Actually, say let's, that let's get the know. let's get the prisoners because we can haul them up before a magistrate or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Beach said he wanted prisoners. Yeah. We have prisoners. Beach said he wanted prisoners. Let's get the prisoners. Yeah, they probably cast some sort um, of evil yeah, defiler magic that made it look like I was a wizard. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not getting these prisoners. <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay, roll a d6. Please be roll a d6. It could, it could be. Another one. Um, okay. Do I have? Mm, don't feel like I have a uh, right one here. Okay, I think I do. I'm using an antloid here. It is not an antloid. Uh, does someone want to make a surprise check for your party? Andrew, roll a d10 for a surprise check for your party. Okay, okay. Two. Um. That's bad, not good. Right. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, situation uh, degenerates from bad to worse. As... Uh, did I not pick up? Oh, I can do it this way. That's fine. A... Uh, some sort of scorpion strikes out at you. Having wandered in here. Some large scorpion. But I will. You just need to give me a second to. Oh, do I have the MMs? Have I completely? No, nope, I do. Okay, but yeah, a scorpion will strike out at you. Uh, we may be able to sort this before we finish tonight. Uh, Depends how things go, I guess. I mean, hey, if I TPK you, then it's very quick, really. That's the way to think about these things. Is this scorpion as big yeah. as the Mysterials that we fought? Um, I think it's bigger. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so I'm I mean, running. the Mysterials were different. Mysterials are kind of different kinds of things, though, aren't they? To be fair. They do different stuff. Okay, so, ooh, let's see, it's going to roll a d6 to decide who to attack as it uh, comes in. I'll just try to sting this round, and I'll try to sting Quintus. Uh, and attack Quintus. Um... It is going to hit. Could someone roll? Um, uh, yeah, could, could someone roll his save versus poison? Um, I rolled Please. a fourteen for his save. Don't know. That will that will pass. He's a he's a so that will pass. He takes four damage, so he's still up. Yeah, he's got five HP. Uh, oh, cool. okay. I think we should leave. Yeah. Yeah, everyone just leave. Yeah, get there are ladders here, so yeah. let's just get yeah. them out of here. So on on your out. okay, okay, Simon, roll initiative, beat my ten. Whew, that is a good initiative roll for you as a gigantic like 
In fact, I, I'm, I'm exact. I'm, I feel. Whoa, yeah. T time to roll a one. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's only medium size. I was about to increase his token size just to terrify you, but he's actually still. It is like eight foot long. Just to be clear. That is too yeah, much cruelty. Cool. Like, fuck the prisoners. We're out of here. Sorry. Yep. I yeah. yeah. Moderate the language. <laughs> Hopefully, it finds too the prisoners. Terrified. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would control myself, but this is awful. Yeah, uh, yeah you can all climb up, fighting will treat your way up. Um, and uh, yeah, with the chest, I guess. Um, I assume you left the silks and the rations behind, because you didn't mention anything about that? Or did you I assume we were taking everything we could carry Other up stuff. to, like, say, light encumbrance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can probably do that. That's fine. Because uh, Gola isn't carrying anything, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. We, like, if, he, he yeah. can carry stuff. Can maybe carry you stuff. can write out how much of the stuff there was in between sessions we can work out what we can actually carry we would have been able to carry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there wasn't loads of stuff it what it wasn't i think um probably nasir nasir and asher and nasir perhaps more so we're probably both like this isn't like a massive haul of stuff but there is a metal weapon in a metal lined case yeah. plus some other stuff yeah so obviously the value was in some of this okay uh, yeah you'll get up the uh, you'll get up there. Um, relevantly, though, okay, he's saved. So Quintus is going to potentially still get taken down. We'll see. As another, he saved. So sometime later, uh, a few rounds later, I think, within two to five minutes, he suffers uh, four more damage. So he is unconscious. I thought he had nine HP. But he's not bleeding out. To... Oh yeah, he's on zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. does he have nine? Does he have? I thought he had eight. Oh, no, I thought. Yeah, he... I, I think thought he, he had said eight. he had nine. But we can double check with him. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes, that was a good thing that he saved against that poison. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And a good thing. And a good thing that you were able to escape and you didn't take a full round of attacks off that thing. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Recover. That from was. My... That from was actually potentially the most dangerous thing that happened that session. Mm. I mean, it's it's a tough one because the defiler had spells. The other guy was obviously not harmless. Yeah. You know? Um, but he was harmless once you he still, was dead. Uh, you're in a funny sit. We... Yeah, but I think yeah, you 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 you're not lucked out. That's the wrong way to put it. But you were lucky just in terms of it required two rolls, obviously, oh, yeah. uh, to kill him with the the poison. And so taking him out in one, that's what that's there for. It's the same with the uh, killing the mysterial. Asher killed a mysterial on the same basis. So you're like, hey, oh yeah, it's only going to happen sometimes, but it is basically the point well, of having that it's character. It's amazing. It does. Yeah, the the point of Asher being the character he is designed to be is is that, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, is that sometimes, as well as his other things, he will just kill a guy. Uh, and I guess Nasir is the same, because Nasir does take candy poisons as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was, uh, yeah. The 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 average bandits, obviously, but could, that are genuinely uh, walkovers few in, in small numbers. If there's like 10 of them, they could TPK you because they can fire enough. Right. But, um given that, yeah, they, they were not, that was always going to be fine, but it was the other guys. Yeah, you lost track of whoever Silk Robe guy was. Uh, so, you know, I guess you'll find out more about him another time. Um, and I will upload anything you find, including, I guess, obviously Quintus was particularly interested, not in the Defiler, but in the the Outlander, the Northerner. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, cool. Okay, any final questions? Because we'll I'll close in a second. Um, does Androp does Andropinus provide legal counsel? I don't think you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, the filers. The, the, hey, this is the ancient. This is the ancient Rome analogy, or like equivalent. You can definitely like try to hire someone to uh, to plead for you in court. Um, it's all about money, obviously. So if you're rich, that might work. Cool. Uh, yeah, you also have discovered a loop on the map. Uh, you've still got the whole south of that map to go, like you have, because you went southeast down to the archway room. But there is the southwest exit and the southern exit on the far western edge. I think we're going to so need a like a full of week of rest to get all our health back before we do literally anything yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, people are going to be able to train depending on your money financial situation. Kent um, and Asher can both train. So. And they were the only they were the only characters behind, so at, they're also the only players behind. So you'll also yeah. therefore be able to level up if you do that. We'll deal with this next session because I guess yeah. next session maybe back to the antloids. 
we'll probably okay. one more session at least because you wanted you had a plan for the antloids so i assume we'll do that at least yeah um, uh, if we could you know but yeah admin a week of rest between that <laughs> yeah yeah, and uh, well, I guess to decide on any training. Uh, one thing is that you're technically on day fifty-seven right now. Obviously, you'd you'd arranged for a company or something. We hadn't exactly finalised that, but I think you're on day fifty-seven, um, or day fifty-two. Sorry, evening fifty-two. Uh, the rest of the group is on seventy. So Marcia, Garris, Bentusi, Gargi. So it could be basically in seven days, um, you could have all the level fours plus some your other characters you guys could put in another four, fourth level character if you want like mm. not i not um not asher and uh kent you could put in another character because you've started training another cat your first character by them uh, so you'll have a second fourth level if you want okay anyway we can work that out. we can work that out between sessions but basically that's what other character players have done so you can do that if you want okay cool cool all right. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that. We're playing next week, uh, so I'll see you guys there. Uh, I will just I, end I the stream. Probably won't be able to do next week. It, I might possibly be able to, but I definitely mm. won't be able to run the stream uh, as I'm away. Uh, you're away, are you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we can talk about it on the thread. Obviously, if if there is like, I'm happy to delay a week because I is we've got an extra week in September anyway, so that would still mean we'd have played twice. It won't be a you know. Yeah. It 